Hey, you, you want to make millions? Let's make an O'Doul's for bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> O'Doul's for bourbon would be amazing. A, uh, Here's a your non-alcoholic bourbon, Look, which then, no one has. And you know right now, bourbon babe is like, ding, 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 this is gonna make us millions. Um, Listen, trademark though. Keep it a neat. Yeah, That's keep it a neat. Trademark we right here. We, we called it first. Okay. Hey YouTube, welcome back to Keeping It Neat with Derek and Nick. I am Derek, Executive Bourbon Soup. I'm Nick, Certified Bartender. And we are here with another Flavored Friday, and we are doing a head-to-head -head comparison today, Nick. Yep. We have two maples with us. We have Jim Beam maple. And the bird dog maple. So we're going to try them. And uh, we're going to start with the Jim Beam, which is coming in at 35% uh, alcohol versus... 40%. Ooh. So a little bit different. That's actually um, coming in at real whiskey. Yeah. So we'll see how they compare. Are you ready to whiskey? As always, ready and able. Oh. Maple. <laughs> <laughs> maple. It, it really I'm is. Getting it's, maple. I'm getting maple. I'm getting maple syrup. It is with God, some like ethanol so alcohol. Hungry. <laughs> I want pancakes right now. Uh, I hop. I hop everyone right now. Mm. Maple syrup with alcohol. Yeah, I mean, there's a small bite when you first sip it, but not huge. But I'm getting then, like a like a maple syrup. That's what I'm yeah. getting off. Is it's maple? The it's, texture, the coating everything. On your yeah, mouth. it's like pancakey. Yeah. I don't need any more of that. It, there's got some. There is a butteriness. To I it. almost thought there was a buttery honey. Okay. Like. <laughs> I, I'm not doubting you on I that. Know. So <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, I get it. Yeah, I can see that I, in there with that butter because I am getting like a buttery flavor to it so yep. there's more than just maple it's like buttery to it yep. also totally um and that's that's about it right. i mean there's i mean some of the flavors we have done before they have like a citrus note in the back and but this is just maple there's no yep. the maple and butter that's what i'm getting i mean throw this on some flapjacks <laughs> <laughs> i wish that ihop would do this Serve me up some a big Ooh, old sweet stack actually, with some of this. You know what this would be nice in like a maple old fashioned. Ooh, well, coming to you soon. Well, maybe, but we still have to try the bird dogs. Fine. That would be better in it. <laughs> you know what, Nick? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But all right? I, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Like, all right, that might be a nice little touch, but I almost think would that be the base because the alcohol is so low. But yeah, let's see what happens with bird dog. All right, bird dog coming in. This is a little higher. Whoa. Now Ooh, this, that's a totally different smell. This smells like a toasted maple. Yes. That is totally... It's like, actually, wow. toasted like marshmallow. Yeah. Yeah. Marshmallowy. Yeah, I like it this one more. <laughs> Give it to yeah, me. Yeah, it's like a toasted marshmallow. That's what I'm getting off this one. Like, you roasted it over the fire. Yeah, totally. Well, oh, that's nice. Syrup. All right, let's okay. see what it tastes like. Ooh, deeper, darker. Huh. It's it's literally a toasted marshmallow. I'm not getting the sweetness off of this. I'm getting like that Weird. that charring kind of. I, that's what I'm getting. So if you I don't dipped know. a marshmallow in maple syrup and then you put it over the campfire. Maybe it's a combination of both. It's Fun. definitely different than this one. Well, that's totally. the thing. That's like a syrupy, like maple syrup. That's like pancakes. maple syrup. But this this is one is like. like uh... This one says it's maple liqueur. Now, this is weird because it's usually the other way when they word it. Maple liqueur infused with Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. They usually put it the other way around. They usually say Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey infused with maple liqueur. Yeah. So this that's kind of weird. And what. Nothing. Just. Just it says caramel color added. Okay. Well, that's to make it... Kind of like Stillhouse. Yeah. Well, Stillhouse comes off as... 
No, Still House has no color. No, so it's I'm just saying, clear. It's, like, it's, it's almost like that. Oh, and then they'll like, definitely oh, add, oh, the right, they add the caramel to it. But after. at least that, that see, I, I should have made that comparison. That was stupid. Because that, still it, House, it's a weird, com- well, the comparison, like well, it's, yeah, the flavor-wise, like the, yeah. I, I understand the texturing that you're yeah. going with that. Thank yes. You. Weird, the, though, because this has a lot of the bourbon in it. I mean, this has a well. It's coming through more as the whiskey for me with yeah, this one. That's what I meant. Sorry, but the maple is not coming through. Like they're saying it's maple. It's a, it's I'm not maple. getting that. It's like an yeah. afterthought. It's like yeah, there yeah. may be maple in here, but it's more of this. It's like that charred marshmallow. All I'm getting is charred marshmallow. Like a charred marshmallow of bourbon with a maple finish. Yes. That was and amazing. Thank you for coming to keeping it neat. Nick will. Not thank you for it. Either. Nick was here all <laughs> night, folks. <laughs> He was here for this one. But yeah, no, I agree with you. It's a total, that beautiful marshmallow. It is different. But it's like, but again, Derek, I don't think we could, you couldn't have this all the time. You could not have this this all the time. Which which one could you? Could you have the Jim Bean? No. No, maple's a weird thing. I think it'd be, this is one of those things where, which is weird to me that these sell probably as much as they do, but... Like, I almost think that... It needs a drink behind it. You want to try them sometime. I want to try this one and meet some pancakes. Like, as a drink or as something. Um, Honestly, between the two, which one do you like the most? Mm. Yeah, it's a tough call, right? It's it's not... It depends on where you're going on any particular... It's... (laughs) Neither. It's it's honestly a coin flip. It's like, if I was having pancakes and I wanted that sweetness on it... This would not go with it. No, that would not at all. And that if would, I was at a campfire, that wouldn't go with it. This would go. That with would go. It's it's interchangeable so, with that end of it. And here's the whole thing is... But again, what are you thinking of when you think maple? See, that's a good question, though. When I'm thinking, honestly, when you think maple, you are thinking... Evan Williams. Pin, you are thinking the Evan Williams. Oh, no, the Jim Beam. That's what I meant. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Thinking but you, you're thinking that because they have a lot of the flavors <laughs> yes. also. Um, but you're thinking that maple flavor... That butteriness to it. Yep. You're thinking over a stack of pancakes, oh, yeah. and you are totally going with Jim Beam. Yeah, and, and if that's you're, what you're thinking. If you want the actual flavor of maple, and that yeah. whole everything that goes with it, honestly, it's Jim yeah. Beam. If you're going for that marshmallow flavor, which all right, I'm gonna do. Which this. I think was more surprising because I think that with the marshmallow side of things, which was weird, I wouldn't think maple with s'mores and marshmallows by the fire, but like. That's what this is, weirdly. So it's very a weird comparison, actually, because these two actually don't make sense to try together, but are good nonetheless. Um, God bless you for doing that. <laughs> I'm all set I am doing this for Texas Mike. That's yeah. all I am. Um, I'm literally going to always have the bottle of Granddad, Old Granddad 114 on here when we do this, um, because he is big about the mixing and upping the proof. Uh-huh. 35 proof. Yep. That's what we're dealing with, ABV. Um, so it's coming in at 70. Adding the 114 to it. I don't know. Okay. You're getting the proof through it. You're getting that alcohol, but it's still sweet. You're still getting maple. You're still getting all I that. I don't even so. think I want to set this. You, you do. You want to try it at least. Because you're still getting that pancake butteriness through it. But it's got more alcohol behind it. Yeah. Nah. Um, I think. They, I think honestly, Ooh. the bird dog does not need it. No, because if you're gonna that put that kill in it. it then this no. Wins. <laughs> but, that, yeah. No. The the well, bird. I don't I'm think you need the bird dog. Doesn't need it because I just think that if you're gonna get anything out of the bird dog, it has to stay what it is. I think if you were going for a maple bourbon whiskey. And you you don't want that syrupy maple like syrupy flavor? Then I think what you did was just smart. Mm-hmm. But like again, that's not me when it comes to these flavors. Like I'm sorry, I'm not. If I'm trying a flavored whiskey, I'm not expecting that bourbon well, power, that whiskey power. I'm thinking no, the flavor's gonna be there. It's definitely some sort of additive, some sort of um, liqueur, as they keep saying. Well, it's that a is liqueur, added, yes. So I like it as the original with the Jim Beam maple because I kind of like that. Pan, it's bringing me back to pancakes and butter and just yeah. having that just deliciousness. Totally. So you know what that would be good in a coffee. Oh, like a maple coffee with a stack dude, of that pancakes. Would be a, damn. You know what? I wish we had a pot of coffee. You know, there's so many things we have here we can wow. mix with stuff. 
and it's like good. we don't have coffee. That's the one thing I, I can uh, club soda. But that would be. <laughs> but I mean, I I actually like it better without the proofing. I like it where it's at. Yeah. So I like that. And between the two, you would choose the Jim Beam, right? Between the two, I would choose the Jim Beam. If I was just like sipping, I, you know, if I wanted that campfirey we were, kind yeah. of, what's this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, coffee. you did have coffee. <laughs> she has a coffee Cold brew. brew, wow. That's you you got it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, shake it, shake it first. Give it a little shake. I don't know. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it's it up. A picture. <laughs> She had she freaked out when I just did. Yeah, this. she did. She was like, "Oh, oh my God!" Well, she's seen you with Abel, so. Yeah. All right. Oh. Well, we did have coffee, folks. So this is something, right? No, the thing. Yeah, but the thing is, is if you're gonna do this, it has to be heavier on the coffee than the actual. Yeah, coffee. you think so? No, I know so. This isn't like a Jameson Irish coffee. You're talking like a liqueur, so it's gonna be thick as it is. Plus, this already has cream and cocoa and honey in it, so. Oh, I think we could use a little more in there. Of the coffee? Of the... Of the bourbon? Jim Beam. To come through. Yeah. You need a little more punch yeah, to this it. Is, you know what it is? It's because this one already has cocoa and honey in it. You need a little bit more of this. Here it is. Bartender Derek. There we go. Let's see if that helps. Give it a little twirl. I'm trying it you out, folks. Me the you, drink. You, you. Oh, you and the drink. You can do both of it if you want. I don't care. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, you could do it. You could do it. Um, I would like to see it in black coffee plain. I think I'm still getting the other flavors of cold brew and the other things. The maple is coming different. through. Yeah, it's the coming cold through, brew is coming but... through, but... Um, the maple, I like more of the maple in it than when we had it before. Yeah, you didn't taste it before, that's why. Mm, yeah, mm. totally, I agree. No, I did. Wait. I tried it when you first put it in. Oh, okay. I added, now since we added, I like the maple. Yes, that's what I was trying to say, too. Oh, okay. No, I didn't. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> so, yeah, so overall, um, not much more to say here. No. I think we know which one's going to win, but it's weird because this just, it's thrown me off. This tasted so much like a It's like totally, a it's not it's the weird. maple-y no. coming through with that. No, it's I don't like understand. a toasted marshmallow yeah. that's all I'm getting out of. Yeah. This is maple, that is not. Totally. All right. Well, I think we're both in the same place. We both like the Jim Beam maple. So that's where we're at with this one, folks. So here's hoping that you all find a little bit of luxury. Thanks, everyone. Take care. If you are ready and able to whiskey, be sure to drop a comment below. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and press notifications. Also, follow Keeping It Neat on Instagram. Thanks for watching, kinfolk.